sisters and brothers, comrades, friends, the first thing I want to do is to thank all of you for being here today. You've travelled from all over the country in order to keep up the resistance against this Tory government. And I'm so proud to march at the front of this demonstration with our steel workers, with our junior doctors and with our teachers, all of whom, all of whom are fighting for our future. The steel workers fighting for the future of the whole of the manufacturing sector of our nation. Our junior doctors, along with nurses, fighting for our NHS. And I bring today a message of solidarity to the junior doctors from our medical practitioners and the 100,000 NHS members of Unite. We're with you, fighting, fighting for a just cause. And our teachers, comrades, our teachers, fighting for the future of our kids. We cannot let them down and we should stand with them in solidarity. And that's, of course, what we're all here for, fighting for a better Britain. Let me just say a quick word about the steel workers. Our members in the steel industry have fought a fantastic fight because it's not just the 20,000 jobs, it's not just the 80,000 supply chain jobs, it's the three and a half million jobs within manufacturing that they're fighting for. Those manufacturing jobs that help secure good public services. I'm proud of them and you need to give them support because it affects all of us what happens to our steel industry. Well, you know, comrades, apparently there are some in the Labour Party who say that MPs shouldn't be really on demonstrations of this nature. It kind of discredits them. I know, they make you laugh, don't they? The reality, of course, is that under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonnell, we now, we now have a leadership fighting for ordinary people in Parliament, in our workplaces, and yes, here on the streets of London. You know, comrades, comrades, the attacks on Jeremy Corbyn by the press are nothing short of despicable. But you know, of course it's true that the establishment, the right-wing press, the quizlings in the Labour Party themselves, they attack Jeremy not because they think he'll lose, but because they fear that he might win. And that's because, of course, ordinary people, ordinary people are fed up to their back teeth with the ideology that attacks our, all our heritage, that creates despair and hopelessness. Tory austerity offers to our economy what Donald Trump offers to international diplomacy. Absolutely nothing. So I've got a message for the Panamanian Conservative Party. Mr Cameron, the only thing I've got from Panama is a hat. So I say, along, along with your sleazy mates, your ta tax dodging mates, slow back to one of your tax havens and leave the decent people of Britain to build a better society. Comrades, remember this, remember this. Today's political elites are as discredited and disgraced as any time in history. Phone hacking, expense scandals, police cover-ups, banking crisis that bankrupted our public services, not to mention illegal wars. And now the Panama Papers and MPs dodge in tax while they slash our services. These are crimes 
that so far have not properly been accounted for. The establishment shames our democracy. Twelve months ago, twelve months ago after a fluke victory for of the Tories, the People's Assembly put hundreds of thousands of people on the streets of London to send them a message that we're not going away. It's up to all of us, trade unionists, students, pensioners, those in work and those not in work, working together, black and white, to send a clear message that we will fight, fight, fight for a better tomorrow. Thanks, comrades. Come on, Len McCluskey, General Secretary, and I, what a pleasure.